I feel like in our very individualistic culture these days, we can sometimes aspire to be self-made. And in today's video, I want to talk about why that is toxic and that at the end of the day, it actually doesn't exist. There is no such thing as being self-made because in order to get to a certain place, especially when it comes to success, we need others. And this is something that I've been realizing a lot in my own life lately because I think for a while I fed into this lie that you could be self-made and then that was a flex when in reality it's such a toxic way to think and it goes against how we were created. We were created to collaborate. And this is something that God has been really showing to me lately. And I listened to this podcast, shout out the Just Different podcast. And they had an episode about collaboration and the power of collaboration and about how when you look at nature, collaboration is inevitable. There isn't a part of nature that isn't giving and taking and collaborating. You've got the bees, the flowers, the oxygen, the trees, all of it. It's all a beautiful collaboration. And that's how God created us as humans as well when it comes to life and work and love and all of these things, these beautiful things. And I think the way to flourish as a human being, or I'm starting to learn is through collaboration. I think of the first command that God gave humanity, Adam and Eve, back in the Garden of Eden. It was to be fruitful and to multiply. And that involves collaboration. And I think, of course, it was talking about procreation and sex and all of that good stuff, but it's also talking about work, about being people together. And so, yeah, I've just been thinking about this lately because I don't know, we have this, I think it's pride. I know it's pride. I think we have this delusion that we're all we need and that, yeah, being self-made is a flex and that someone could attain that status of being self-made we think of a lot of successful people and some people even claim that but i was actually watching that arnold documentary recently the docuseries on netflix and it was great highly recommend and i love what arnold said i was already thinking about this whole self-made thing because i would listened to that podcast and i was just practically seeing it in my life with you know where i am in my career having done a lot of things myself versus where I could be if I actually collaborated more. And um, anyways, there's this episode towards the end where Arnold says that he's not self-made, that people might think that he is, but he did not get where he got by himself and that there were so many different pieces to the puzzle, that there were so many different influences, different people who helped him get where he got. And so, yeah, I mean, it kind of makes sense when you really think about it. But as I said, I think it's pride. It's this ugly thing inside of us that thinks that we're self-sufficient. I mean, I feel like this whole idea of self-made in and of itself is a very secular idea. And it's definitely not in line with reality because at the end of the day we also didn't make ourselves and so yeah I think it applies as well to success and I've been thinking a lot about career lately I'm a musician I'm an artist an independent artist and at times that can be great but at times I've taken that independent part a bit too far 
and I'm starting to realize that. Yeah, I'm starting to realize that just because I'm an independent artist doesn't mean I have to be independent of others and creative input and networking and all these things. You know, we live in ecosystems, in different careers, industries, in our lives, we have relationships, community, these things are so important. And I think to neglect them or to be in this delusion where we think that they're not real or important is, yeah, not helpful. And so I guess with this video, I just want to share where I am in my journey and how God's been moving in my life and giving me these different revelations. And I hope that this is a reminder for you as well. If you find that self-made is something that you're aspiring towards because it doesn't exist, as I said, I need a burp. I'm so sorry. I just came back from an all-you-can-eat buffet. It's my brother's birthday today. Shout out, Aiden. Love you. Um, oh gosh, it's coming. It's about to be some burping a ASMR. I don't know if that's a thing. Probably. I don't want to look that up. But anyways, um, yeah, I thought I'd change it up this week for my weekly video and talk about something that has been on my heart lately. And yeah, I am grateful that God is revealing this to me because my dad always used to say growing up, no man is an island. And I used to roll my eyes and think, yeah, like I agreed with him, but man, it's just taken me way too long to actually come to terms with that and actually agree with it, not just intellectually, but practically. Because, yeah, for a while, as an artist, um, an independent artist, I have my own studio, I record, I produce, I mix, I master, I do the artwork, I do basically everything for my music, and, you know, I used to think of it as a one-man show, and I feel like in a lot of ways I still am a one-man show and I'm trying to change that. But I used to think of that as a flex, you know, like I could do everything by myself. But really, that just leaves you in a very selfish situation. Not that I necessarily intended to be selfish, but by not allowing anyone else into my creative process and into my little world of music... I miss out on people's ideas, I miss out on people's feedback, I miss out on the magic that happens when people collaborate. And yeah, that makes me sad. But as I said, I'm trying to change it. And yeah, it's not a flex. It's not a flex. And I'd rather be outsourcing. I know that sounds probably bad not to use that kind of terminology, it sounds very businessy and impersonal, but I'd rather be in collaboration with someone who has strengths where I have my weaknesses and where I can compliment them and vice versa, you know? Um, so basically, yeah, if you want to collaborate, hit me up because I actually am so keen. Um, yeah, but that's all I had to share, I think. I want to do more of these very like podcast-esque if you will and I'm sorry for all the pauses I'm trying to get better at not cutting videos and so yeah I just really want to be able to speak and even if it doesn't all make sense to just be comfortable with speaking on camera without having to edit it um, a lot so yeah that's where I'm at thank you for watching I'll see you next week. God bless. <laughs> oh gosh, I can be so awkward.